month are we? February. No, March. March favourites. No, no, it's February favourites. Oh. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> Hello everyone, so I am back home. It's so good to be back. I've been travelling through January and New Year, but it's so good to be back home. I'm back in my apartment. Alexia is behind the camera. Bye. And today I'm gonna to be filming a February favourites for you. So it's things that I might not have picked up this month, but I've been enjoying this month. So let's get started. Oh, I'm super excited to do a video like this. I haven't done one in ages. So the first thing I picked up, this I actually got when I was traveling in Canada um, with Ben and the other guys. Uh, this is from Calgary. Um, it's from a shop called delivery shop and that shop is awesome it's like a, um, a shop that's created loads of brands and this just really stu stuck out for me basically um, it basically smells amazing it's like a fresh kind of woody smell um, which I really enjoy so it's like kind of like having a campfire but also a bit of moss you know adventure candle um, but yeah I was drawn in by like the branding Sydney Hale & Co so it's a hand poured candle um, they are from Virginia, USA, and this one is Cypress and Cassis. But it smells great, and it says it's got 50 hours of burning. And we've had it burning for ages, and we've only kind of burnt this much. But um, that is the good thing about traveling, actually. You kind of get to go to these stores that you don't necessarily have back home. So, you know, we have obviously a bunch of candles and stuff in London and whatever, but that's a cool little one, because it's from Virginia, even though I got it in Calgary. Um, but yeah, for, so from Virginia. So that's an awesome candle, I love that been really enjoying that with Alexia at home. Next up we have this notepad that I bought. Now I actually got this with Will um, maybe before Christmas and I've been saving it for this year basically. This is like a personal notebook you can see it's got the little SB here. It's got the little SB here um, and this is from Shinola Detroit. Now these guys obviously originally in Detroit but they've opened up a store in London. They might have two now. But the one, it's just off of Carnaby Street, but it's awesome. They're such a very, very cool brand. I'm a big fan. But they basically personalise your notepads for you, like there. And then they've got like a press, and you can do gold and uh, silver I got, and I think black. But yeah, so it's really good quality. I went for squared paper, and this is just my notepad for this year. Yeah, it's great. And I know it's mine. Keeping in with the book theme, next up is this book that I got from Jake for Christmas. This is called Cabin Porn, and basically, yeah, a bit rude. Um, basically, this is, okay, think about Instagram. Think about all the Instagrammers that you follow that upload those remote cabins in amazing places. This is basically a book that's been created from all those images. It is awesome. It makes you want to go into the wilderness and stay there and write a book or write an album or something like that. Yeah, just get out there and kind of be in nature. This book is absolutely amazing there's some really interesting stories in here um, really interesting cabins but yeah Jake you know me very well I was very happy with this when I opened it at Christmas and I've only really been able to flick through it this month just because I've been traveling so much but to give you guys an example of what this kind of stuff is in there that is one of my favorite images so that gives you an idea of the type of images that are in here so it's incredible highly recommend it it was a gift so I'm not sure how much it was but you can more likely get it on Amazon I believe of course you can, you get everything on Amazon. But yeah, fantastic. So one of my main goals this year is to get fitter um, and I decided to kind of try and get into running. It's not my favorite type of fitness, but because I've been traveling so much, it's something that's obviously accessible everywhere. And what's making it a lot easier is having my Strava app because then you can track where you run, you can track all your data, how far you run, average mile, all that kind of stuff. So that's really helping. But I've been buying some um, like running stuff to kind of try and get into it. And obviously you can't run in your normal clothes. Um, so this, I really like this. So when you think of running, you think like Nike and Adidas and stuff like that. And I hadn't heard of this brand before, Under Armour. I know it's really big in the States, but in the UK it's, it's coming through, but it's not huge now. So this is it, Under Armour. And this, I really like this because it doesn't necessarily look like a running top. It kind of looks actually relatively stylish. Like I have tops like this that are made of like cotton, but this is obviously kind of dry fit technology. Really good. It's not super tight. Um, I didn't sweat loads in it, but it's still quite cold out there. So it kind of keeps you warm. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoyed this. It's also quite reasonably priced. I think it's like $40 or something. And obviously Nike are quite expensive when it comes to running stuff. So good alternative. And it is just, like really really good quality so Under Armour 
really enjoying that this month. On to the next thing. The next thing I've got in my favourites for this month is the Joby Gorilla Pod. I think this is the SLR zoom focus head. So it's basically, it goes like this, it kind of moves on an axis like a fluid head. This can move around as well um, when it works. But yeah, basically I got this from, originally I think I saw Casey using it. Um, and it works really well because I've been using like a bigger camera to vlog on and kind of travel with. Um, like a more like an SLR camera. So having it on here and kind of holding it out gives you an extra kind of bit so you, it's not really close in on your face. And also if you're doing like time lapses or you want to set the camera up somewhere, this is like amazing. You can kind of attach it anywhere. I'm not sure how much it is. It might be like 80 pounds. Again, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Yeah, um, that's where I got mine, I think but I will link it in the description as well. This is really good. I'm sure most of you have already got something similar to this, but I just thought I'd whack it in there because I've been using it so much. And it's one of those things that you buy and you're like, well, I'll maybe carry it around or whatever, but I've literally been using it every day and it's awesome. Even for like photos and setting up um, time-lapse photos and star lapse and stuff like that, I've been using it for. So it's something that you can carry like around with you and not have to carry a massive tripod with you. So Casey, thank you very much. Nice recommendation. Um, for vloggers but yeah links in the description and that is a favorite of mine for this month what the hell am I talking about <laughs> yeah so moving on to my last favorite of the month this is probably my favorite just because I've become slightly obsessed with buying sneakers and I'm now calling them sneakers so these are the Y3 retro boost um, Adidas and I think it's it's Yohi Yamamoto or Yoji Yamamoto. You guys will let me know. Let me know in the comments how you pronounce it. But yeah, I mean they've been doing stuff together for years and stuff. But these are awesome. I just thought they were really different. They've kind of got the three stripes at the back, the blue on top here, and they've got the um, the boost technology in the sole, um, which is like literally running on clouds. So these, I'm really enjoying these. Yeah, I've only worn them out a few times, but. I'm actually in love with them. I think they're awesome. Another thing on actual sneakers is what I was gonna say. I've been, I used to, when I was a, when I was younger, I used to be really into collecting trainers and sneakers, whatever you wanna call it, let's call them sneakers. Re really into connect, collecting sneakers. Over the last six months, I've kind of really got back into that kind of sneaker culture and collecting and basically it's turned into a hobby and I just really like buying trainers. <laughs> But what I was going to say is if you guys would like to see my collection or want me to do like sneaker pickup videos, I don't know if that's something that interests you. If it does, leave me a comment down below um, and I'll make an effort to kind of do like monthly sneaker pickups or, you know, I don't know, every couple of months or whatever. But yeah, anyway, these are unreal. I got them from Offspring, I believe. They are quite pricey, these ones. I think they're about £200 just because it is the... The, the kind of collaboration with Adidas and stuff, but they're great. They feel really good quality and I'm looking forward to sessioning these in the summer with some shorts. But yeah, awesome trainers, awesome trainers, sneakers, whatever you wanna say. So there you go, they are my favorites for February. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's awesome to be back home and making these types of videos and sitting behind the camera, behind the camera? No, in front of the camera, having a conversation with you guys, letting you know what I've been into this month. So yeah, what have I, else have I got going on? I'm actually heading to Berlin on Monday, which will be, when will this go up? In a few days, basically, um, with Ben, and we're shooting another episode of The Thing that we've been working on. I don't know how much you guys are allowed to know. Anyway, we're shooting another episode of The Thing that we're working on together. Um, and then I've got a Ford video coming for you guys on Sunday. Um, so that is when Jake, myself, and my friend Bass went on a road trip and we did some, I'm not gonna say too much, you have to watch the video um, on Sunday. But yeah, anyway, I'm rambling now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in a few days and see you next week with another video. Okay, bye-bye.